when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? Today we're actually about to be checking on the FD. I don't know what happened, but it's running funny. I'm hoping I didn't blow up the motor. This is probably my first time ever having an issue with the FD uh, since I've had it. So, uh, I'm yeah. Up my Fadizi. You said I messed up your who? Fadizi. The FDZ? You said your way and I said mine. Well, yes, it's uh, it's over there sputtering. Like it sounds all funky, doesn't want to idle. So I got my boy Jeff on his way over here right now. Jeff is the dude who basically assembled and built that whole motor or whatever. So uh, Jeff's about to come by, check this thing out, uh, and see what's going on. I sent him some video, started up. He said the motor sounds fine. It sounds like it has compression. It's cranking over properly. He said more than likely it's something stupid like uh, intake uh, intake gasket or something like that, but I don't know. I don't know sh about rotaries, and I don't feel like taking this thing apart or even tracking anything. I'd rather Wait, just have him. Uh, my car. What car? If it's easy. You don't even like it. You talking about it's too low to get in and out. I, that's my car. The FDZ is your car. That's yeah. the only car you like. <laughs> that's my car. Well, Jeff's on his way to come check it out for us. <laughs> Jeff is uh, my boy. He's aka the rotary guy over here. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what he finds. Yeah, all them too low for me. You just gotta get shorter. We'll see what he finds. That's why the FD isn't even in the garage. I just been leaving this thing out here. This man sitting out here with the 300 ZX. Ah, <sighs> we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it's something simple as hell and doesn't require us having to pull the motor. So. We'll see. Fingers are crossed, but I mean, I'm down for whatever. I already have my my spare keg from when the or the motor that actually came out of here was like perfectly fine. It was a brand new reman motor, so that motor is uh, all good. And I had left it over there with him. That way, if something was to happen to this motor, we're just gonna do a, a even you know bigger setup. So if this motor is no good, which I have no clue yet, we'll probably just do like a semi bridge, something that just braps super hard and obnoxious. And, It's my granny van. Granny van? Yeah. You gonna turbocharge that too? Nah. <laughs> Here you go. For sure not. not. It's blown. It's broken. It's over. It's time to LS swap it. And then I'll buy your motor for fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Seventeen hundred. Nah. Look at that girl struggling. Keep it alive for you? No. <laughs> 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 something, something, something. Dude, did you slide my seat forward? Yeah. Man, little little tiny guy? Huh? I was gonna bring tiny. You should have. Kimbo could have seen his his stepbrother. I wanted, I wanted them to like, you know, see each other. Yeah. 
Should have brought him. Tiny, nah, he, he's, dude, he's he's a monster. Like he rips and destroys things. <laughs> Brake cleaner. I'm pretty sure I have brake cleaner somewhere in here. I have to have brake cleaner. Man, this sucks. I don't have no brake cleaner, yo. I don't see any brake cleaner. The car's timing's off because of the temperature gauge. So the temperature gauge thinks this is wrong. So then it's going to make the, the timing all off, the fuel all off. So you were low on coolant. We'll see what that does. But I want to see. Oh, the vacuum dropped to zero though. Yeah, we we're we we're idling at zero. So the only two things that can do that intake leak and then the temperature gauge. If it's off, it's gonna throw the timing all off and it's gonna make it go to hmm. zero. Let's just see what this thing says before I do anything else. Bruh, 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 bruh. I mean, it sounds good when it's all beat <laughs> I, up. I knew you. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Like, oh, bruh, 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 where's bruh, my bruh, port? Bruh. Yeah, man. Where's my Bridgeport? Bridge right here, baby. <laughs> 50 grand. Somebody come get it. Bridgeport motor. I got it. I needs, got hey, needs tune now. <laughs> needs tune. <laughs> man, you see the moment this thing broke, I put it outside. I'm like, nope. <laughs> Only running cars get to go in the garage. What's inside there now? Uh, just the 350 right now. But once the Fox is painted, I'll probably put that in there. I'm trying to buy a bigger house. I need like a four, four four car garage or something but it's like hard to do that in california i went in houston i was in like humble or whatever oh, yeah. it's like a little 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 town but it was nice okay. houses are nice the humidity and the weather was ah uh, yeah I, I probably couldn't I, I honestly probably couldn't do the weather come on you thing I really don't hear intake leak either though. I need some brake cleaner. I need to go grab some. Right when I got ready to go get some brake cleaner now it seems to be idling. idling. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab some. Literally all we did was add more coolant to it. <laughs> well, it's gonna be the temperature sensor trying to read it. So the coolant temp sensor is that finicky on these? Yeah. If I unplug this thing right now, I'd probably die. Which is really hard to unplug. The alternator is <laughs> Yeah, so only thing that had happened was this thing had ripped, coolant went flying. I literally shortened this up, put it back on, added coolant to it, and then throw it home. Yeah. And then on the way home it was fine until what? Until I got home. When I got home and went idle. I was like, what the fuck? But it could have been that I didn't, I didn't fully bleed it. Yeah. They probably had air in the system. That's how it's supposed to sound. It's like fine now. You did some, you did some secretly special. You ain't telling me because you don't want me to be able to fix my own. Uh, you did some. You did something secretly special, yo. What'd you do? I added coolant with you. <laughs> That's it. Bruh, I had I had added coolant too. Yeah, that much. Bruh, we barely we barely even added anything. It, that sensor needs to get it. Like maybe we need to pop that off too with the overflow. I know the hood. See, it's the only sticker I even got on this car. I'm surprised. That's love right there. I don't put yeah. stickers on my car. I'm still surprised. I turned, I turned, I'm not gonna say which company. I turned down them sending me $3,000 worth of parts for the LSA because I didn't want to run a sticker on my car. Really? I swear to God on my granny, bro. 
three K worth. Like it was like thirty two hundred dollars worth of parts that I needed for the uh, for that LSA setup. And I told him I wouldn't run a sticker on my car. So wow, yeah. That's special, man. I don't run stickers unless they're the homies. Look at any of my cars. Nothing has a sticker. It's a janky too. Yeah, you like, and Janky. You, Janky, and Paradox are the only like stickers that I have on here. And I got one of my uh, my boy White Aaron. Okay. Oh, he has it on a 350Z, but that's like practice practically his car too. Yeah. yeah. You see my uh, RX8 now? Oh yeah, shit looks clean. I'm only gonna put Janky sticker. That's like here. Like whoever, like you know, actually helps. Yeah. I'm tired yeah. of having millions of stickers for no reason. Help. Free promo for other people. Yeah. I rather I rather support the homies. J Janky helped me out a lot. Still has to help me. <laughs> <laughs> so how's shit been since we uh, did this car? So how's everything been since we did this? Like after you did this, did you see more business and shit coming? More people hitting you up? <laughs> the, that is one, the one that makes me laugh is, hey, my homie Mike Mike told me to hit you up. I'm like, no, he didn't. Like, bro, I, I know him, know him. Yeah, like, he didn't tell you to hit me up. But I just I just look at my messages and I just ignore it. Like, no. I got a lot of cars in my yard right now. I got a lot of work. I don't, I don't, I don't need it. You don't need it? I don't need it. That's crazy. I can't believe this this coolant temp sensor is literally that sensitive, yo. This thing sounds normal again. Huh? Oh yeah, it's starting to warm up. No intake leak. Shit didn't change at all. Turbo's kind of noisy. Nothing wrong with my turbo. Huh? I'm talking about the shh. Yeah. It has the uh, T51R housing. That, not loud though, right? Oh, you hear the fan. Oh. Yeah, that's the fan that's doing that. I'm kind of puzzled to why only one fan's cutting on unless the other one cuts on at a higher temperature. Yeah, the other one should keep on. It gets really hot. I don't really see anything wrong. Yeah. This up a little bit. I don't... All right, so my boy G off getting ready to leave right now. Uh, looking like the FD's all good. Me and him were actually just talking about um, what kind of like the next plans are for this thing. Uh, we're gonna upgrade the fuel system and you know turn it up a little bit. That's gonna be the the plan. So he's gonna be sending me a list over kind of like what we need to do. But we have decided to you know fuck with it a little bit and turn it up to um, no LS3 swap in this. But yeah, we are going to turn it up. I told him, like, right now we're only at 10 pounds. And I want to run this thing at about 18 pounds. So we got a few uh, few things that we're, we're planning on doing. So, all right, boy. But I'm happy this thing is good. I'm, I'm surprised that, like, I didn't think the coolant temp sensor was that finicky on here. And once this line had broke, the coolant had ran out and it just had a bubble. And I had added hella coolant to it, but I guess there's a certain way you have to bleed these things with the with a swirl pot and everything. So basically have to take that one off, then this one, crack that one open, and then this one's gonna trickle down into this one. That's when you know the the, the bubbles are all out. So what had ended up happening was I had filled this one up and I thought this was more like a, uh, like a reserve kind of thing if it gets hot and it boil over into this, but I guess both of these need to be well obviously this needs to be filled and then this one needs to be filled all the way up too and then right here you have the the overflow but i learned something new uh jeff is the guru on these things so that's why i had my boy come through to to figure it out but i mean i guess that's technically the first issue i've had with the fd over the year plus change i've had this car since it's been built like that was literally it other than that still no issues out of this thing still runs flawless probably like one of my most reliable cars um but yeah man i'm just happy that everything's good i was already like fuck man this thing's broke i'm like it sounds like dookie i was like what's going on but literally something that small plus it has a, a fail safe with a coolant temp sensor it also has a boost fail safe so that's why it was sputtering and not revving because it was going in a fail safe mode to basically protect itself i'm just happy my, my fd isn't blown up 
and hopefully you guys are going to be looking forward to this thing making some more power because tonight more than likely your boy is going to start ordering uh the full fuel system for this thing and turn it up possibly flex fuel e85 we'll see i feel like this is kind of informational that maybe somebody may have this this issue later down along or later down the road when you're running a standalone and all that so um just remember coolant temp sensors on fds or rotaries in general are super 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 finicky all right grams your car is good it's fine what was wrong with my car it just needed more coolant added to it stupid right you said it was something minor yeah, I mean, those, I don't know much about those engines, so I don't want to mess with it. It's a rotary, it's a little airplane motor. It's different from all the stuff that I know about, so. Well, you should have kept going to school so you can learn about airplane motors. Nah. Cars don't really come rotary no more. <laughs> Wasn't about to take aviation school. Why not? Then you could have went up there and work a rebel hobbit. Yeah, but then, you know what? You know what would have happened? What? I would have been making less money than I'm making right now doing YouTube. You can do both. I'm doing what I love to do and I enjoy doing what I'm doing because I love to do it. You feel me? I feel you. you she feels me. I've been going too crazy. These niggas too shady.